Uh, from uh, the reports I receive, uh, things have been moving slowly. Uh, the appointment system has been uh, working well, and so we'll continue to be able to expand that as uh, we receive more uh, vaccine. A landmark day today as people in the general population start to get vaccinated. This comes as the province sees the lowest number of new COVID-19 cases since early October. One COVID-19 death was announced on Monday, bringing the total amount of deaths in the province to 896. The province also announced new race-based data on COVID-19, showing that BIPOC communities in Manitoba are facing disproportionate impacts from the virus. Dr. Brent Rusin, the province's top doctor, says it's important to realize that it's not bad choices made by the people in these communities, but systemic factors like occupation, income and housing. We knew early on that uh, BIPOC communities would be disproportionately affected, uh, just as they are in, in uh, uh, other jurisdictions. So we really wanted to, to see the data, uh, to be able to report back to our, our partners uh, and then uh, try to use this to find uh, solutions moving forward. But Dr. Rusin says that the most important risk factor is age. And on Monday, the first of the general population were set to get their first shot of the vaccine, starting with people over the age of 90 and above and 70 and above for First Nations. First up, Nina Luhoi, who was told by her health care aide what to expect. Not the same for everybody. Some feel good, some feel maybe a little bit. Uh, it hurts them. I don't know. For me, so far, so good. I cannot complain. She's got a few weeks before her next shot of the vaccine, but sympathizes for everyone waiting. Dr. Rusin says that the vaccine rollout is just about on schedule. I do think that this was um, in keeping with uh, with our plans. And again, the you know the, our only limiting factor right now is uh, the number of doses. For Lou Hoey, she says she's ready to go home and get back to her TV programs. That's it, making supper. <laughs> Stay all by myself. In Winnipeg, Marie Gomez, City News.